this lab you will total 10 problems in electromagnetism problem number 1 what is the mmr or magnetomotive force of the coil in figure this is the figure this figure consists of three primary turns three secondary turns current is 4 amps if 4 amp current is flowing in the circuit magnetomotive force mm of is equal to n into i here n is the number of turns i is the current three turns into 4 amps that is equal to 12 ampere turns or 12 amps here four turns into 1 amps that is equal to 4 ampere turns or 4 amps here two turns into 2 amps that is equal to 4 ampere turns or 4 amps here one turn into 4 amps that is equal to 4 ampere turns or 4 amps problem number 2 a magnetic circuit with 200 turns on a core with an average length of 0.5 meters if the current is 0.5 amps find the magnetic field intensity h magnetic field intensity h is equal to n into i by l or mm of by l here n is equal to 200 turns i is equal to 0.5 amps l is equal to 0.5 meters 200 into 0.5 divided by 0.5 that is equal to 200 ampere turns per meter problem number 3 how much flux will there be in a core that is 0.05 meters into 0.05 meters and the flux is 500 tesla one tesla is equal to one weber per meter square here yeah, weber can be defined only in terms of a change in the flux in the magnetic circuit one weber is the amount of flux change required in one second to induce one volt in a single conductor here area we have to use small a capital a represent amps therefore we are using small a that is equal to 0.05 into 0.05 that is equal to 2.5 into 10 minus 3 meter square flux density is equal to pi by a flux density b is equal to pi by a therefore pi is equal to b into a b is given 500 a is equal to 2.5 into 10 minus 3 meter square therefore pi is equal to 500 into 2.5 into 10 minus 3 that is equal to 1.25 weber's problem number 4 Calculate the permeability of a magnetic material when mm of 150 ampere turns per meter produces a flux density of 0.15 tesla. Permeability mu is equal to b by h. Here b is equal to 0.15. H is equal to 150 ampere turns per meter. 0.15 divided by 150 that is equal to 1 into 10 to the minus 3 or 0.001. Problem number five. An air cooled coil has 800 turns. The mean length of magnetic flux path is 100 cm and the area of cross section is 10 cm square. If the exciting current is 10 amps, find magnetic field intensity H, magnetic field density B and flux pi. M mm of is equal to n into i. M is equal to 800. I is equal to 10 amps. Mm of is equal to 8000 ampere turns. H is equal to n into I by L. Here L is equal to 100 centimeter. Therefore H is equal to 8000 divided by 100 into 10 to the power minus 2. That is equal to 8000 ampere turns per meter. Permeability mu is equal to b by h. I can find b. B is equal to mu naught into mu r into h. Mu naught is equal to 4.10 into 10 to the minus 7. Mu r is equal to 1 because air cooled coil. H is equal to 8000. Magnetic flux density B is equal to 0.01 tesla. B is equal to pi by a. I can find the pi. Pi is equal to b into small a. That is area. Here area is given 10 centimeter square. B is equal to 0.01 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 4. Pi is equal to 0.00001 Weber's. Problem number six. An electromagnet has a mean circumference of 60 centimeter. Find the mm of required 
to set up a flux density of 0.75 tesla. If the coil is 1000 turns, the material of the core is soft steel casting. I can find the magnetic field intensity value H from the BH curl for 0.75 tesla. For 0.75 tesla, H value is 400 amps per meter. H is equal to N into I by L. I can find MMF. MMF is equal to H into L. L is given 60 centimeter. H I know 400. 400 into 60 into 10 power minus 2. MMF is equal to 240 ampere turns. MMF is equal to N into I. I can find I. I is equal to MMF by N. 240 ampere turns divided by 1000 turns that is equal to 0.24 amps. Problem number 7. The air gap of a magnetic circuit is 2 mm long and 25 cm square in cross section. Calculate the reluctance of the air gap. How much ampere turn or mm up will be required to produce a flux of 1.2 millivibers in the air gap. Uh, you know that reluctance S is equal to L divided by mu naught into mu R into A. Here A is given 25 centimeter square. L is given 2 mm, 2 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 that is mu R. Mu R is equal to 1 because air gap mu R is equal to 1 into A 25 to 10 power minus 4 that is equal to 6 lakhs 36,619.77 ampere turns per weber. Pi is equal to MMF by reluctance. I can find MMF. MMF is equal to pi into reluctance S. I know pi. Pi is equal to 1.2 into 10 power minus 3. 1.2 millivibers. 1.2 10 power minus 3 into 6,36,619.77 MMF is equal to 763.94 ampere turns. Problem number 8 An air gap 1.1 mm long and 25 cm square in cross section in a magnetic circuit Find A Reluctance of the air gap B MMF to create a flux of 9 into 10 power minus 4 webers in the air gap. Reluctance S is equal to L divided by mu naught into mu R into A. Here L is equal to 1.1 mm. 1.1 into 10 power minus 3. Mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. Mu R is equal to 1. A is equal to 25 into 10 power minus 4. That is equal to 3.50 into 10 power 5 ampere turns per weber. MMF is equal to pi into s. Pi is given 9 into 10 power minus 4 into 3.50 into 10 power 5. That is equal to 315 ampere turns. Problem number 9. Determine the flux density at a point 50 mm in air from a long straight conductor carrying a current of 500 amps. Here D is given. D is equal to 50 mm. 50 into 10 power minus 3 meters. I is equal to 500 amps. H is equal to I divided by 2 pi into D. It's a very important formula. That is equal to 500 divided by 2 pi into 50 into 10 power minus 3. That is equal to 1591.55. Permeability B is equal to B by H. I can find B. B is equal to mu naught into mu r into H. I know H. Mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. Mu R is equal to 1. H is equal to 1591.55. That is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 3 tesla. Problem number 10. Two long parallel conductors situated 60 mm between centers in air, each carrying a current of 100 amps in the same direction. Calculate the force on each conductor. State the force is of attraction or repulsion. Force on conductor per meter length Fc is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 7 into I1 into I2 divided by D. Where D is a distance. 
d is 60 mm that is 60 to 10 power minus 3 meters i1 is equal to i2 because the two uh, conductors carrying the same current therefore 2 into 10 power minus 7 into 100 into 100 divided by 60 into 10 power minus 3 that is equal to 0 0.033 newtons since the conductors carry the current in the same direction therefore there is a force of attraction between them with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening